So here we are in Powell's Wood Gardens, and this is the first garden room, the entry garden. And the highlight of this garden are these hardy palm trees. And it's a variety called the windmill palm that does well here in Western Washington. But each garden room has a theme. And I love this garden room because not only does it have these touches of exotic orange and peach, but over here we see two different kinds of garden walls. So this is a Portuguese laurel hedge that's been sheared, but next to it is tri-color beech. A whole row of tri-color beech trees with their beautiful pink and russet and brown leaves that come out on them. And they have been planted and used as a hedge that gives you four seasons of color. So the entry garden is a place to just stop, collect yourself, get your notebooks out, get your camera ready because you are going to meet so many cool plants here at Powell's Wood. So here we are to the entrance to the perennial garden, yet another garden room at Powell's Wood Show Gardens. And I love the Japanese painted ferns here, beautiful foliage color in the shade. They paired up nicely with rhododendrons and primulas, but on this side of the path, they echo that with a Japanese painted fern, but this one has saxifrage, another shade loving perennial, and a bright yellow rhododendron. So here's why you come to a show garden like Powell's Wood. They have the name of this rhododendron that I had no idea what it is, but printed on a tag and it says Rhododendron Wind Song. So you can take a picture of this and then take a picture of the name tag so you'll know what you can find at the nursery to pair with your Japanese painted fern or your saxifrage um, and just get ideas for little vignettes or little scenes for your garden. Let's show you the rest of this garden room and it extends out a beautiful trail of grass. This is a very informal garden like a lot of the, the Northwest. Um, it's not you know, formal and balanced and symmetrical. It's more casual Northwest style. And I want to show you this gorgeous viburnum down here. Come here. So this is a viburnum and this viburnum is called Clem's Pink. And it has a plant tag, so I, it's how I know the name for sure. But this is something you could find at the local nurseries. The flowers turn this wonderful pink, but the foliage is also spectacular. So when the flowers are all done, the new foliage will persist into the fall. And it's also that kind of a rich um, rust color that goes so well with the, with the rocket barberries and some of the other golden colors in this really casual, but very well-maintained perennial garden room. And so, we're going to now head towards the water feature, a whole other area of Powell's Wood Gardens. Okay, another idea that you can get from, from show gardens like Powell's Wood is pathways. This is a very casual path strolling along the stream. And uh, this stream is actually capturing water runoff from the neighborhoods in Federal Way. And it's filtering all the water. So they're doing a good job of of helping keep the neighborhood with clean water. But this using cedar shavings as their pathway. I use this in my garden a lot too, because when you have a lot of big overhead trees, the cedar shavings, it doesn't show the, the litter from the trees as much. And then they also are using some native plants along this stream. This is camas, it's a, a native bulb, blooms very blue, and it has a root that is very starchy that the Native Americans use as a food source. Uh, they also have the candelabra primroses uh, growing along the stream. So you get ideas, if you have a wet area in your garden, come to Powell's Wood and you're gonna see plants that will thrive in the damp soil. So here we are in yet another garden room at Powell's Wood. This is right outside of their tea room because you can come and you can have tea on special days. You could even rent the room at Powell's Wood for small weddings, for business meetings. What a beautiful place to have a meeting. It looks out over this part of the garden. And this is the new barberry called Orange Rocket. I have this in my garden and it grows straight up. I love the color, but this is another new uh, plant for the garden that has that exclamation point form. It's called Fine Line, which is a type of a ramus and this is another type of a U with the new growth is very golden and um, a very unusual purple contorted filbert here. These are flowering onions just getting ready to, to bloom. Any time of the year is a good time to visit a garden like Powell's Wood 
and I thought the colors were so awesome. And I brought my umbrella today and never needed it. But it's such a pretty umbrella and it kind of matched the garden, so I thought I would just take it out and fit it into the garden scene. Here we are in another garden room at Powell's Wood Garden, and this is the lower water garden. But this really dark wall that you see here is a living wall. It's actually Leilandi cypress that are sheared once a year. So when you visit a garden like Powell's Wood, there's so many things to learn from garden maintenance to new plants, to what will grow in the shade. And the other thing that I really like is you can come just for peace and quiet. Uh, I think this garden is one of the best kept secrets. They only have several thousand visitors a year, so you can be sure when you visit, sometimes you're the only person in the garden. So enjoy as you sit on a bench, take pictures, or just enjoy the ambiance.